punch. Rhodes passes to Edwards. Gobert with the screen on Buck. Here's Edwards. And you know what? Very close. Shooting from Minnesota. Anthony Edwards. And Edwards drops them both. And really just a great rhythm at the line. Whether it's a big lead in the first quarter or with the game hanging in the balance. And here is Cobb. Inside. And with that shot, the Timberwolves lead. He's got down just two points with the bucket from Chris Depps for Zingas. Butler against him. He doesn't hit that one. Some solid defense from Butler. Miami's gone ice cold from three-point land all four since the start of the final quarter. Now, oh, here's Khan. Not a lot of room. And the call. Rudy Gobert. They're glad to have him in this spot. That one drops. He ties it up. Nicely done. Without much separating these teams, that's when you have to make good at the line. Up top, Edwards. Defended by Butler. And Edwards with the stuff. And he is built to be the man for this team. Edwards answering the bell and executing. Now, here's Khan. Defense right on him. Gobert with the block. Edwards against Butler. Outside Edwards. The shot, no good. And Miami the other way now. Hero kicks to Khan. And that'll be two free throws coming up. It's on Anthony Edwards. You had a foul to give there, but you'd rather not have it cost your team points. I agree. I mean, it would have been better off using it. The Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. That's the latest, David. Hey, guys, I listened in on what Chris Finch was talking about with his players. His message was clear. Let's not beat ourselves. We came in here with a plan. We executed. We're right in this thing. Keep doing what you're doing. Kevin? Thank you, David. And so it's Porzingis. He'll bring it up for the Heat. Passes to Cobb to take the lead. No good. Shot missing. Well, another team cut moment here. got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Edwards with it. This one for three. Can't get the three to fall. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime.
number one picks are at the forwards, Edwards and Towns. And it's Rudy Gobert, and it's Rhodes in at the one spot. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the one he's had tonight. Boy, he has put in some major work. He's earning his pay, for sure. And forget about finesse. This big fella's all about the power. And Cobb launches it from deep. A miss that time would have put him up. The Timberwolves shooting about 42% so far. Boom. Oh. by Porzingis. The shot's good. Towns has got four this quarter. This shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Here he goes. And the dunk by Cobb. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their four leader. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. The pass to Towns. Kicks it to Edward. Plays it up and banks it in. Edwards got 20 points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Rhodes passes to Towns. To the inside. And contact on the shot. Well, one of the ways you mark consistency is looking at a player's efficiency rating, and Katz is generally among the best in the league. Well, he did enough there. He made it a two-possession game, at least. Hero kicks the count. And he gets the whistle. The first free throw is good. Yurt Zavini's checked in for Javante Green. And Cobb drops both of them. Around two minutes into overtime now. It's been a good one. Pass to Edwards. Here's Gobert. And it's Miami with the rebound. Yurtzevin's got six rebounds in the game. Cobb dishes to Butler. What a performance. He's now tied for third most points in single game playoff history. Well, GA, the way he's been scoring the ball, you had a feeling he'd leave his name in the record books. And the Timberwolves call time. Call for Minnesota. Just under two and a half minutes passed here in this overtime. And he'll shoot free throws. Second 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 the fact that he doesn't mind initiating contact gets him to the strike. Good on the second free throw. Well, I mean, a semi-productive trip to the free throw line, but we'll see whether or not it costs him. As to Persingas. It's overtime basketball, folks, if you're just tuning in. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Makes it, and the next one... with that one. And so Edwards will bring it up for the Timberwolves. To the left wing. Here's Rhodes. Another miss by Minnesota. Or Miami, they've gone two of five on shot attempts since the end of regulation. Now, here's Conn. 
defense is right there. This is it to Persingas. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. The Timberwolves have gone three for five for their shot since they got started here in overtime. Butler against it. He picks it to Gobert. Outside, Town. Lock it four. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. Jimmy Butler comes up with the rebound. Looking at the clock, just over three and a half minutes into OT. Oh, he's got it again! Sensational! And he set a new all-time record for single game scoring in the playoffs. I mean, what a night to remember. And for those of us who are lucky enough to witness it, I'm sure we will never forget this. And Michael Jordan, the GOAT, holding that top spot for decades to now witness someone break his record. I mean, this is crazy. Here's Rhodes. And the three off target. And uh, Miami shooting a respectable 47% for the field in this one. Now a timeout called by Miami. They're in front by two. 50 seconds left to play in OT, and this battle continuing. a bit here. Yeah, smart move. A second chance effort. Over in the corner, Edward. Now the pass to Rhodes. Six to shoot. Fires from the line. Out to the right wing. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Oh, here is Edwards. Over Butler. Oh, off target. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy. A lot different than early game free throws in terms of making and that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And the second of two is good. That makes it a three-point lead. Minnesota. Here we go, Barry. Look, they've got enough time here to find a good look. They can run a play off the inbounds, make sure they get it in the hands of their best shooter. And so the big win by Miami in a tight game. A uh, pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. So that's a wrap for the first game of the NBA Finals. For Clark Kellogg, Craig Anthony, and David Olden, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long.